If you are running a blogging site, at some point you definitely want to list the different blogs on a page or maybe on your blog archive page. And you can do this with the post grid widget from Happy Add-ons. Post widgets that you get can be used in two places. One is on your blog archive page. And if you're doing that in Elementor, you will need Elementor Pro for that to set up that template. Running Elementor free, you're going to use this widget on your other pages to display it as a listing area where people can interact with your blogs. And that will, of course, take them to your blog pages. You can see as I'm scrolling down that this comes with a number of presets, which makes it very easy for you to do as little as possible and display it very nicely on your front end. This is my blogging site, a travel site, and what I want to do here on my homepage, which is my landing page, maybe bring in my postgrid somewhere here. When people are surfing on my page, they see my blog entries and they can click there and it will take them directly to it. Let's go into Elementor. And from the editor on the left, you can either slide all the way to the bottom, look for it in that ocean of widgets, but the easiest way is to search for it by name. So up here in the search bar, I'm going to type in PostGrid. And there we go. On this page, let's go to the bottom and I'll simply click and drop it there on an empty area and it will create a new section for me. This kind of grid works best across your canvas. So don't put it in a column on the left or the right, keep it for the whole page. Let's look at the skins that we've got here and immediately you see it draws my blog, my travel blog entries very nicely. And as is, I'm already very happy with it, taking all my styling and bringing it and applying it. It looks really good out of the box. Skin, we have a few. Let's look at our Y. Standard. Monastic. Stylica. Right, that's a little bubbly. Outbox. And that brings in my avatar, my little pineapple, and then crossroad. And under these skins, you're going to find all the normal settings that you will find for a grid or listing widget that you bring into Elementor. Over here, you can change the columns. Three is usually good. Two is also good. Going over three is usually pushing it a little bit. And for that, you will definitely have to choose one of the other skins to make it fit. The skins naturally is just a suggestion. From there on, you will go into styling and you will make styling options to it. You can activate or deactivate the featured image. And then the same for the title. Below this, you have control over the exit length. And if you want the read more button, your query options under query. And then if you have quite a number, your pagination is going to be here and you've got a number to work from. Well, in this case, numbers. And then also previous and next, which is one of those that I like to prefer. And numbers plus previous and next. And in such a case, you also have control over the alignment where you want to put that. In this case, let's put it in the middle. From style, you have complete styling over everything from your layout, your gaps, your item box, images, your badge content meta, and so forth, up to your pagination, changing the colors and the spacing, even applying margins. And I think it's as simple as that. The post grid is not a complicated widget. It's not supposed to be a complicated widget. It is there to bring your blog entries to your blog archive page, display them in a nice way so that people can easily find them, and then also to display them on your normal static pages, maybe at the bottom or somewhere in the middle, to draw people to your blog entries. Check out Happy Add-ons for Elementor. Follow the link in the description below.